Today we'll talk about how to identify and train the pelvic floor muscles. The pelvic floor is a muscular sling, a flexible hammock that holds up the vagina, the uterus, and all the abdominal organs. Pelvic floor muscle function during pregnancy is especially important as the weight of the baby increases the load on those muscles, overstretching and weakening them. The pelvic floor muscles form a figure eight around the vagina, urethra, and anus. Like any muscle, you can train the pelvic floor muscles with exercise. First though, you need to be able to isolate and identify a pelvic floor muscle contraction. You've probably already heard of Kegel contractions, but you might not be sure you know how to do one. You can identify your pelvic floor muscles with a simple test. When you're urinating, you can try to slow or stop the flow of urine. This is a good test, but not to be used as an exercise because doing so repeatedly could irritate the urinary tract. But you can try while you're going to the bathroom to stop the flow of urine and start again. The urine test is meant to be used only as a test because doing it repeatedly could irritate the urinary tract. In order to exercise the pelvic floor muscles, we'll start with a basic Kegel contraction. After you've identified the pelvic floor muscles with the urine test, you can just squeeze and hold, activating an isometric contraction of the pelvic floor. You can insert two clean fingers into the vagina and squeeze and hold. If you can feel the tightening around the fingers, then you know you're contracting the right muscles. Another perhaps more interesting way of practicing isolating that muscle contraction is during sex. You can use your partner's penis as that external stimuli and practice squeezing and holding. After you've perfected the basic Kegel contraction of just squeezing and holding, you can move on to different variations. The first being the fast contract. It is exactly as it sounds, just a fast contraction of the pelvic floor muscles. So squeeze, release, quickly, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. A second form of the basic Kegel contraction is the slow hold, where you squeeze and hold and release slowly. You can incorporate the slow hold with your breath, squeezing on the inhale and releasing on a slow exhale. After practicing several repetitions of and perfecting the slow hold and fast contract, you're ready to move on to the more advanced pelvic floor training, the elevator. The elevator is like a slow hold contraction done even more slowly and held for longer. If you can imagine an elevator inside the pelvic floor, and as you squeeze, drawing inward and upward, the elevator also moves upward slowly. When practicing the elevator, you hold the pelvic floor contraction at the top and then release the elevator back down slowly, as slowly as it rose. This helps to develop great muscular control in the pelvic floor that can really help the body prepare for childbirth because with great control, you can release the pelvic floor muscles at the right time during the pushing stage. But if you're already in the postpartum phase and just beginning your pelvic floor training, don't despair, it's never too late.